Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 7 and hopefully the final part of this RMS Celtic tutorial. Uh, the final jobs for today are the lifeboats, the propellers, uh, the rudder and basically handrails and a few vents. And that's basically it. Uh, before I start that though, I'll just uh, show you the things I've done in between the uh, this video and the previous one. Uh, I've added the uh, iron bars to the um, uh, the cranes and the forward mast. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got the iron bars uh, in diagonals down from the um, mast and the uh, cranes. So I've done the forward ones. I haven't, I haven't done the overhead rigging on the tops of the mast. Uh, getting that right is cool. Well, I was a bit of an art doing that, so I didn't really, really bother doing that. I've just added the uh, iron bars to the uh, rear mast as well. So that's that job done. And I've also added the uh, doors and windows, which I didn't do previously, to the uh, stern deck house here. So we've got all the doors and windows there. I haven't added the doors and windows to this side here, which is something I forgot. <laughs> forgot. But uh, the other side, it has got doors and windows, so uh, yes, yeah, so I forgot to do that side, but never mind. Um, and I've also uh, finished off all the brown trim uh, around the left-hand side of the uh, ship superstructure. So you got the uh, brown uh, carpet effect or brown trim effect carpets on the uh, su uh, superstructure here, as you can see. So I've done that all around the uh, left-hand side. Still a few bits to go though, but uh, we'll get the lifeboats in first, so uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. Alright, so the first job we're going to do, I'm going to work on uh, the left-hand side, so roughly where I am now. So I'm going to put the first lifeboat in. I'm going to go uh, basically right next, <coughs> right next to the um, the bridge to stretcher, so basically right down on the deck below. So you've got the bridge up there, the bridge deck, and then this, that deck house there. And you're going to remove uh, 12 blocks of the side wall. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12. So 12 anywhere roughly on the uh, side there. And you're going to build your lifeboat. The lifeboat's going to be 10 long. So I build the base. Uh, depending how you want your lifeboat designed, I'm sort of pondering how to do this because. Um, uh, I think what I'll do, I'll design the base, which will be 8, so I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so basically you didn't really need to remove all those blocks, but uh, there we go, so 8 like that, and then 8 again next to that, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then you go 2 at the front, 2 at the front like that, and then get rid of those 2, actually don't get rid of those 2, put them back, and then <laughs> build out the side, like so, and get rid of those blocks, and do the same on the other end, we go Two, two, and then you build out to the side like that. So basically, you've got one side of the boat hanging over the side of the ship, so that's how it would look. So, do the same on the other side, just build the design like that and get rid of those two blocks. So, there's the basics of your first lifeboat. Now, for the davit on the prototype over there, I used um, wood fence, but uh, I think a lot of people didn't really like the design of that, so I'll just, I'll just go back to using. Uh, I don't really know what to use really. I, I should go back to using the white quartz blocks, but I don't really know if there's anything else that will look as good as said design. Um, there isn't really much else you can use. I basically just want to build a, a pole really, but we don't have any of those available, so um, yeah, that's that. Uh, I, I could use iron bars really. I, I could better try with iron bars, see how it looks. So I just go from the front. There we go. Iron bar up, up. Roughly about six hoses. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one forward like that. No, nah, it don't look very good, does it? No, just get rid of that. So the iron bars concept is out the window. So we just go back to using the white quartz, I think. So basically, from the end, one block away from the boat, we're going one, two, three, four, five, six up. And then one t inside like that. Same on the back end. One, two, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then another block there. So that's one lifeboat done. Looks gawky because of the uh, davits, but uh, there's not really much else you can do. If I was building this in from the depths, and I, you know, just, you know, just a sort of curiosity, uh, if I was building it in from the depths, I'd be using ex exhaust pipes for the uh, uh, the lifeboat davit, but. Uh, that would be for another day. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first boat done. You want to do the same on the other side, but uh, I'll come back and do that later on. I'm just doing the first side, so I'm just doing the left hand side uh, for the moment. So that's the first boat done. Now we're going to go up to the next, oh, up into the top deck, basically the same deck as the funnels. 
And I use the same lifeboat design again. This time we want two boats along the side here. Um, so I'll just want to get a rough idea where they are. Right, so we'll go, f go from the front roughly, roughly where the uh, wall ends here. And we'll build our second boat. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, and then 2 and 2. And then we build the side. Then the other end. And then the other side. Get rid of those blocks there. So that's the first of the two boats. Let me just add the davit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One block. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four. Too far away. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one block. There we go. There's two lifeboat uh, things there. And then one block away. Leave a one block gap from the first davit or the second or the first pair of davits and then we just go one, two, three, four, five, six for the next davit and then we build our boat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the ends of the boat, the sides of the boat, and then the other side of the boat. And then behind that, another davit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one block. And there we go. That's the uh, two lifeboats there. So then the next job you want to go down to the next deck. So basically, behind the overhang of the deck you just built on, uh, go down to the deck below. In this area here, we're going to put four lifeboats on this section here. So um, we're going to put our first davit in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one. Is it four boats? Yeah, I think it is. I'll just double check that. Uh, fly over here. Oh, well, thanks to the uh, the person who told me that to uh, use control to fly fast. Uh, that was something that was really bugging me, but thanks for uh, pointing that out. Uh, these are the same length. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, they're the same size. So, yep, yeah, same size boats along the uh, lower deck. So, just fly back over. Once again, thank you for pointing that all out. Alright, so here we are. And uh, we'll just build the same thing again. So, uh, 1, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I think what I do, I just put a single block gap between the the boat and the davit, so the davit is actually connected to the end of the boat. So just to sort of make a bit of room because uh, there's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze putting all these boats in. So there we go. There's the first boat, and then the davit behind that. And then I'll just, I think what I'll do, I use the Titanic design lifeboat, uh, lifeboat davits that I've done on my Titanic tutorial. Just have a single davit <laughs> and a post and a, a block on each end. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm a bit restricted on space at the moment, so if you can come up with a better design than by all means, but uh, I'm restricted on space at the moment. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 2. And then the same davit again. Block and block. And then boat number three. There's maybe even tighter squeeze than I expected, but we'll see. Uh, we might get the last boat in, I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, I'll probably build a smaller one, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, up. So if I can get the last boat in, then uh, this will work. But we'll see. Uh, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just, I think we'll just get the last one on, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have to put the davit right on the edge, so... Uh, that'd be a bit of a squeeze, but never mind. So yeah, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just get the last uh, boat in place. Uh, 
and the davit right on the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go, there's all the four lifeboats on the side there, overhanging the side, which I didn't really intend to do, but uh, space sort of uh, says otherwise. Um, I haven't put no covers on these boats, but you can add a sort of a carpet cover or a canvas cover or a stone slab cover. What I normally do is use, is use the stone slabs for the covers, but uh, I won't bother today. Um, but we'll see. Um, anyway, on to the next... Uh, Lifeboat. Uh, these three deck houses, these three large deck houses, will have a lifeboat each on either side, so they'll have a pair of lifeboats on them. So, uh, <coughs> pardon me. On the side here, we just add a davit. One, two, three. Actually, a bit further forward. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And add our boat base. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I usually do a jump cut when I build boats, but uh, I don't think I bother today. Well, I will do. I will do a jump cut when I uh, come to do the other side, uh, just to save a bit of <coughs> time in that department. There we go. That's that lifeboat done there. And then onto the next deck is uh, next superstructure piece as well. <coughs> Voice is starting to fail. Eyesight's starting to go as well, which doesn't help. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the last davit. 3, 4, 5, 6. And block. Uh, just Got to recalibrate fraps again, so bear with me a second. Okay, that's sorted. Um, so yeah, onto the next one. The next uh, piece of superstructure is one deck lower, but uh, they're still the same design. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then our lifeboat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we'll reduce the size of this boat and make it uh, one, two, three, four, five, six long at the base and then uh, the usual two blocks at the end. Uh, because of the space restrictions I've decided to, make, to shorten the boat so it's, instead of it being ten long it's eight long. There we go, it's more of a dinghy than a boat but uh, there you go. And then the last davit like so. And there you go, that's all the lifeboats on one side done anyway. What I'm going to do, I shall do a jump cut and uh, copy and paste the boats on the other side. So we'll just have a quick look at the uh, knife boats as they are at the moment. So it all looks uh, nice and neat at the moment. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lifeboats so far. So the ship will be fully stocked with 20 lifeboats when it's all done. So uh, more than enough, as it were. So um, what I'm going to do now, I should do a jump cut when I copy and paste. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've added the uh, lifeboats to both sides now, so we've got uh, lifeboats all equipped on both sides. We've got uh, ten either side now, so twenty boats fully equipped, and I keep saying fully equipped, I don't know why. Uh, so yeah, she's uh, ready to sail. If only she had some propellers, but yeah, let's do them in a minute. But uh, there we go, all the lifeboats are in place. And you can add a few more if you want to. Uh, say if you want post 1912, you can add uh, a, few li a few more lifeboats along the tops of these uh, open decks here. Uh, it's up to you what you want to do. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, lifeboat stuff. So now what I'm going to do now is fly down to the belly of the ship, or the bottom of the ship, and uh, it, or at least attempt to build the rudder. So what we're going to do is get some stone slabs, or rock slabs, or cobblestone slabs, or any slab that uh, is slabby, and we're going to add slabs to this area here, basically just just build them to create the look of hinges so you know, sort of space them one slab apart so all the way to the top of this back end so we're underneath the, the under the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we're underneath the overhang of the stern in case you were wondering but uh, there you go, so there's the uh, hinges in place and for the uh, rudder itself, i just get black wall ready so for the rudder itself um, Gonna go from the bottom. We're gonna start in red. Gonna put one block, and then you're gonna build three. So one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four, 
and then uh, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then change to black, and then you're going to add 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, and then 5, uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, and there's your rudder. It's uh, basically a giant D shape, but uh, yeah, it looks right, doesn't it? It's, it's non-functioning, so that's what you get, but uh, there you go, that's the, um, the rudder all done. Now for the propellers, this one's a bit more, far, well not really far tarty, but uh, a bit different, but uh, anyway, so we'll go from the hinges, we're going to build forward from the hinges, so from the hinge along the top of the red section, so I'm going to get some light down there, so the top block of the red, closest to the hinge, you're going to count f to the ninth block forward, so if I get another block of red ready, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so on the ninth block we add a red block, and you're going to build out three. So that's one already, two, and then three. So it's three out. And then two down from there. So two, and then two again. So that basically built. What was that? Oh, never mind. So it was a three out, two, and two. So this creates the, um, the propeller shaft. And so from the uh, bottom block of the row of two, you're going to build one block forward. And then change the colour to uh, yellow. And put a, two yellow blocks like that, and then for the propeller itself is a swastika basically. So it's two up, one, two up, or two across, down one, two down, one, and then two out, one. If you take offence to that, then I do apologise. But uh, there isn't really a, a propeller design you can actually make that looks good. You know, it's it's uh, restricted by space, restricted by the size of the ship, and uh, restricted by design really, because it's all squares. But if you can come up with a better design, I'm try and do one myself. So if you want to come up with a better design, by all means do so. So I'll come up with like that. If I, if I build it like this, <laughs> it might look a bit less conspicuous. Well, not conspicuous, but less offensive. Um, yeah, it uh, still doesn't look right, does it? But anyway, I'll leave that open to interpretation. If you want to build a, a, a swastika, by all means. If you want to design something else, then by all means do so. Then share it with me, we because um, <laughs> I'm stumped for propellers, but uh, there you go. Uh, so anyway, behind the propeller, on the uh, propeller shaft, we build, from the propeller level, build the shaft all the way forward uh, to connect to the rest of the hull, and we just blend in the design on there. And then on the next level up, the row of three. And there you go, that's that propeller shaft all done. With the odd shaped propeller. But anyway, that's the uh, propeller shaft done and that bit all done there. So we'll just do the same on the other side. <laughs> no, no light again. Uh, light, light, light. That one. So the ninth block back, or forward, whichever. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't bloody see. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we build out three, and then down two, and two again, and then a red block, and then two yellow blocks. And I'll leave this propeller because I can't really be bothered to come up with another design, so uh, that propeller will remain empty. But I'll rebuild, I'll build the propeller shaft anyway. So there we go. And there we go, that's the uh, propeller shaft done. The propeller, you can do what you like with that. Um, I'm not getting too political with it, but uh, there you go. So I've got a, a half, well, no propeller and a whatever that is. So, um, yeah, it's open to interpretation, but uh, that's the propellers all done. Right, so now the final job. I was going to add a few air vents, those air vent cow things, but uh, they're not essential. Well, they are essential on the real ship, but uh, not for me. So I'll leave them. I'll leave it to you if you want to add the uh, the vents. But the last job for today is to basically add the iron bars around the um, superstructure. So we'll start on the stern deck house uh, where the docking bridge is, and we'll just add the iron bars around the edge. 
all the way around the around the edge of the uh, deck house, and it'd be for the same for pretty much all the deck houses, except for the ones with the white walls around. So just add the iron bars around the edge. Try not to double them up. There again, that's that deck house done, and the same on the uh, next one. So basically, go from the davit all the way across to the uh, other davit on the other side. So just build the handrails all the way across to that davit, and the same on the front of it. Uh, about there. So it's that deck house, same on the next one above. Add the davit, oh not the davit, but the iron bars to the davit. And the same on the front. It's a very repetitive job, so if you want to fast forward it by all means. But uh end result should look quite good. There we go, that one, and then on the next one, same again. And that's all the deck houses done. And then for the uh, stern, uh, well not the stern, the uh, main superstructure, like on the back wall, across the davits, from davit to davit. Or if you want to, you can do, um, like on the front wall, you know, add a white wall across, and then add the brown trim to it. That's up to you what you want to do there, but I'm just going to use the iron bars for this bit. So there. And the same on the deck above, we add the iron bars to this deck. basically all the way up to the lifeboats out to the side there and then across to the davit there and the same on the other side and across the back as well of course Up to that davit there, so that's iron bars done there. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. So that's all the uh, trim done there. There is, it does look a bit bare, you know, this deck with the uh, the space available. But you can add other bits if you want. I mean, you can add uh, a few smaller buildings, small deck houses, uh, entrances for the lower decks because I mean there is virtually no access to it at the moment. But uh, you know, cut a few holes in the deck. Add a few staircases, uh, a few skylights if you want, but uh, I haven't got any photographs or deck plans of this actual area on the ship, so um, I'm going to leave it bare. But if you want to add things to it, then by all means do so. Then uh, it will look a lot better than what it is at the moment. So that's that. Uh, last job for the trim, uh, on the, on the, well, the brown trim anyway, is uh, the bit around the front uh, lifeboat. So basically on this front wall here, just add the brown trim to the side here up to the bit there, so that's that bit covered, and then do the same on the other side and then up the other side and there we go, that pretty much covers everything I think um, not really sure what else to do, oh the ladders on the on the funnels and the whistles, I could do that I suppose just chewing on my finger a minute um, so on the front of the funnels you can add a ladder, and I don't know where, oh there's a ladder so add a ladder to the front of the funnels. Remember, all the ships of these days had the funnel, uh, had the ladder on the funnels. And for the whistle at the top, um, I think I just use a bit of wood fence. Uh, so that one, and a bit of wood fencing there. So there you go. There's a whistle, <laughs> and then do the same <coughs> on the next one. 
There's a whistle there and a f uh, ladder down the funnel. Uh, there we go. Uh, so that uh, pretty much covers that bit. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot, any, uh, not not a lot else I can think of that needs doing. Um, there was a bit of white trim to go around the bow, but I did explain in the last part that was mainly just to uh, cover the the shear of the deck. If you look at the prototype of the disc, there's a bit of white trim around the front, but uh, I left it out on this one. Um, yeah, there's not much else to do. Um, if I go on the inside of it, if I find an access hole to the inside of the uh, ship, um, I'll go on the inside here. So if I cut a hole there, and then fall inside, where it's completely black. Um, where do you get uh, night vision stuff from? Uh, night vision, three minute one I do. So I want one of those. There we go. Right, now, um, I don't normally build the inside decks and uh, well the same accounts for the day as well. There's a hole there. Didn't realise that. Um, so yeah, so what I normally do for the inner decks, um, when I explain this, what I do is below the main deck where we are now, so the main deck is above us, what I normally do is leave a three block gap, so one, uh, one, two, three roughly, and then build the next deck. So you've got a three block gap, then a deck, and then another three block gap, and then another deck. So that's the two decks below um, in the hull, and then below that in the uh, red draft, you can either add another deck below, or you can start building the um, cargo holds, engine rooms, boiler rooms, and all things like that. There's still plenty to do. But this is the way I lay the uh, decks out anyway. So you've got uh, one deck, that, that area, and another deck on that area. So you've got the two lower decks done there. So um, that's roughly how I designed them anyway. So as long as you've got enough headroom between the two. So basically, roughly three block gap is enough. Anyway, let's get out of here. And uh, pretty much finish off. So um, I really do hate those twirls that uh, come with the uh, night vision. as a way of disabling it. Nope, never mind. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the RMS Celtic. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I do appreciate you taking the time to uh, follow my videos. Um, thanks for subscribing and liking and all the other stuff. Um, there are a few requests going around for various ships. I am trying to put some together. I mean, there are loads of requests for the Poseidon from, I think it's a 2006 film. Um, but I'm not too keen on that sort of thing because you know it's a it's a modern cruise ship and uh, all things like that. I'm not too uh, fussed on it. But building things accurately is not really my thing. I just sort of make things up as I go along. Um, maybe a couple of more tugs to come along. There's a few ferries as well that have been requested. I can't remember the names of them, but uh, there are a few. Um, so I'm not really sure what else to do at the moment. But uh, there will be a few more videos for um, on uh, from the depths. Um, so I'm trying to build a few aircraft in that and uh, fly them around, try and shoot at things but, uh, to no avail. But uh, that's another video game and another video later on. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot else I can think of at the moment. But uh, yeah, I do appreciate all the support and all things like that. And uh, yeah, thanks. Um, but uh, we'll point out though, if you're going to be building this design or using it in a video or a downloadable project, then uh, you know, on PMC, but then uh, don't forget to leave credit uh, for the original designer, uh, me, um, and uh, all things will be okay then, so um, that'll be for that. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is Rich, signing off, logging off and disappearing, and I shall return hopefully soon with another video tutorial, so um, bye for now, and the uh, night vision's just running out. Anyway, bye for now, and I shall return as and when, so uh, see you later.